Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module we're going to look at inserting sub-projects into a master project file and then creating a project report that will show the allocation of resources across projects. So we've got two projects and you can see there project A, project B, project A, project B and project A, project B. Each person working on two different projects and this show, this one's showing you the start and finish dates. So to create all of this I'll start from the beginning, I'll just delete these two projects and reinsert them. So to create a sub-project you are going to the project tab, clicking on sub-project and then finding the project that you want, so it's in documents. So of project A and project B, there's project A, same process for project B, find project B, bring them in. Now if I expand these projects, it shows you the people that's on these projects. If you update this project or this project the original projects will reflect that change. I'm just going to change this one to have two different people as a resource so you can see the differences there. Now if I indent these underneath the master, so back to tasks, indent, you can see then this picks up the timeline across the top. So all of these are just single day projects for this example. Now to create a report I'll select report and new report. I'll pick a blank one to start with. I'll call it report one. Okay. And it gives me a blank paper with that title. So let's got myself a column chart. Now the default comes in showing you the hours. So what I want to do here is take off actual work and remaining work, just leave work on there. If I change the level to show all subtasks, it gives you a breakdown of the work, but it doesn't actually tell you the projects. So if I then go to the group option, now I've created some groups here, but if I just do a new group and call this projects, and then from the field list, select projects and then apply. And it gives you the project A and project B. If I then change the level, because I've shown level one to all subtasks, it breaks down between the two projects. So that's the first one. Now let's create a second chart and do it in terms of resources. So again, I'm change this to resources, take off actual work and remaining work just to keep it simple. Obviously you can leave those on. Now, there's Bob and Bill from one of the projects because I didn't delete them off the task, off the resource sheet, but it doesn't matter. There you can see Paul and Steve and Bob and Bill there. Now, again, I need to group this. So I've already got one called project, so group by project, shows project A, project B, select all subtasks, and it tells you who's on which project, project B, project A, so that's the second one. And then to show that as a table, if I add a table, there's my table, just move that down a bit, and change this to resources, so it shows you the resources. I don't want start and finish. I just want um, work on this one. So it gives me the hours worked. And again, group by projects, project A, project B, and then show all subtasks. So that should break that down for me by project. And I'm the hours worked or planned work for these resources. 
So that's a very quick overview of how to create a report that will report across multiple projects. But remember the first step is you need to create your master project file, insert your sub projects where they're independent resources and then you will be able to create the reports that you wish. Report 1, or the one that I had previously showing you that information. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for your time.